one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bird and the Twerp podcast. I'm Ike Schrafter, and welcome to the Christmas special. You don't even introduce me? Yeah, no, you don't matter. Man. <laughs> I paused for a second because I thought you were going to introduce yourself. I forgot how you formatted mm-hmm. these. I, don't, I want you to introduce me. With my, co- with me. my co-host, Soren Penguin. Thanks, Ike. Welcome to the Christmas special. Yeah, welcome to the Christmas special. After this has been a month delayed. But what makes because... this Christmas so special? Well, it's the Christmas that the bird and the twerp oh. is returning. That's right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the Festivus special. Yeah. Festivus for the rest of us. And that's why this is going to be 30 minutes longer than usual. Did you set up your Festivus poll? No, I didn't, Penguin. Oh my god. I don't know if I can do this. Oops. It's for the rest of us, Festivus. Ah, I see. <clears throat> so, I thought it'd be cute. I thought it'd be cute to go over some Christmas memories. Shouldn't we explain why the podcast had a month delay? No, we shouldn't, because there is no explanation. We're fucking lazy. Uh, explanation, life shit. End of explanation. Uh-huh. Okay, what's the topic? Topic is Christmas memories. Okay. Go... Go into one of yours, Penguin. One of my Christmas memories? Yeah, God, I don't want to have a lot of good Christmas memories. Christmas memories. Well, I'm sure you have one, at least. I mean, I got a Christmas memory where I thought I got a computer, and then I ended up getting one of those c- computers that are actually just a bunch of learning games. Why don't you just jailbreak it? No, it was like, it wasn't an actual computer. It was like a learning. It's one of the ones that has like the games downloaded on it that you're supposed to learn from. Oh. So you couldn't yeah. put a copy of, like, an NES emulator on there and use that? Nope. It wasn't an actual computer. It was, like, a learning thing that was shaped like a computer. But, yeah, my sister got a computer for Christmas. I didn't get a computer for Christmas. I got a learning thing for Christmas. I was very disappointed. That's fun. And, that, I gotta... and then, I went up, then I went upstairs and played Pokemon because I was, like, eight years old. And I was like, I'm just going to go play Pokemon. Uh, I forgot, you guys have fun with Christmas. I forgot to introduce my drink this episode. Can you guys guess what it is? Come, come on, come on, audience, guess, guess what I'm drinking. Oh my god! <laughs> gotta have that audience interaction, all right? Gotta, gotta oh make sure god. our, gotta make sure our viewers are engaged with the podcast. How are they gonna guess? Uh, are they gonna like leave a comment? Yeah, they're going to leave a comment. Okay, if you're watching this, right? Here, leave oh, yeah, a waiting. comment. Best answer, Ike will drink next episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, how, how do we quantify best answer in this scenario? It's the guessing game. Best answer, you'll drink. I'll vote. Oh. I'll decide. Oh, okay. Um, well, this episode I'm drinking hot chocolate. Minty oh. hot chocolate. It's fucking delicious. It's nice. And I spilled it on my desk. Right, so uh, I remember one Chris- Christmas memory. Um, I woke up at like 5 a.m. because, of course, I did. Uh, uh, I went out, I went to piss, right? And I saw this air swimmer. I don't know if you guys know what air swimmers are. They were this thing that were popular in like the early 2010s. Um, air swimmer? Yeah, it was like it was like a uh, okay. It was like a. Is this like, like some stupid 2010s toy? Yes, it is penguin. It it was like oh my God. I was I was excited about it. The it was, it was the a trash toys. It was a helium. It was a helium balloon, uh, that you like remote controlled. <laughs> did you name it Balloony? <laughs> I did not. You, I didn't name it. I didn't. Do you, oh, do you secretly I, okay. have a collection of innators uh, okay. and a vast <laughs> hatred for Perry the Platypus? Okay, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually have time to name it because, like, I was playing with it for about an hour, and then my sister took it outside, and I never saw it again. Oh. But it was it was pretty cool, you know, for what it was. It was like all helium. It was shaped like a shark, and you know, you like moved it through the air. It had like a little fin on the back that you used to make it sort of swim through the air. It was pretty cool. I still attest Wait. to the fact that it's pretty cool even to this day. Wait, so you. So you had a best friend balloon that you let that you that your family caused you to lose. You literally are Doctor Doofenshmirtz. 
My nose isn't that big. Uh, good point. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're like a mixture between Doctor Who, and Mercy, and Mewtwo King. People aren't people. The people at home aren't gonna get that penguin. You want to explain to them why I'm like Mewtwo King? Oh, there's a. I owned like 800 GameCube controllers, and I sent him a video of Mewtwo King explaining why he owns like 80 GameCube controllers. I mean, GameCube controllers are pretty good, and they're inexpensive, and they come in like a bunch of cool designs. Yeah. So, of course, I'm gonna get some GameCube. Also, controllers. Ike's like. Also, Ike. I'm pretty sure. Also, I'm pretty sure Ike rocks back and forth when he plays Smash. I have no confirmation on this, but I'm pretty sure. What? Why? I don't know. I just think you do. <laughs> you just think I rock back. Okay, is, is it like side to side or like front to back? No, it's like back and forth, like Mewtwo King. Oh, okay. No, no. Have you not seen Mewtwo King play Smash where he just rocks back and forth? Uh, I'm I'm usually not paying attention to Mewtwo King. I'm usually paying attention to the gameplay. Oh. There's a clip. There's a clip where he's rocking back and forth, and the audience, whenever he rocks forward, goes whoa, and whenever he rocks back, <laughs> they go whoa. So they're like whoa, whoa, whoa. It's very funny. <laughs> Sounds pretty funny. <laughs> I love how the Smash community can like agree that making fun of autists is funny. I mean, they're so they're really nice to the guy on top of it. They're not like mean to him. They just kind of make jokes about him. Better not be. I mean, they're not. Mango's like really nice to the guy. Uh, someone recounts in the Smash Bros. documentary that was released at the time of Smash 4's release that um, like they were out with him and he got he got out of the car and he went into a store, and I guess at the time he was just so autistic he didn't really know the concept of buying something at a store, so he just grabbed a candy bar and left. <laughs> for chocolate bars, Penguin. <laughs> God. Oh, have you ever heard the Scar Dad story? I have never heard the Scar Dad story. Go listen to the Scar Dad story. We'll talk about it in the next podcast. This is for the audience, too. Go listen to the Mewtwo King story of when he, when he got Scar's dad to drive him home. Because it is hilarious. <laughs> um, so... Bring in the uh, the conversation back to Christmas, kind of. Yeah. You know, pe people get Xboxes for Christmas. That's, that's yeah. a traditional Christmas gift. Yeah. Um. Oh, well, there was a dope ass Christmas. I got a GameCube. Oh fuck it! Did you get Smash? Yeah, I did get Smash. Yo. Yeah. Let's fu fucking go! I have a game. I owned a P. I owned a PS2, and then my mom got me a GameCube afterwards. Okay, I have. I, I bought a GameCube at a flea market. Uh, ages ago, right? And it's like... I don't know what... Ike? I accidentally unplugged my mic. Hold on. Um, oh my god. Uh, but, like, I don't know... It's got these stickers on it. And I'll put a... I'll put a pic if, uh... I'll put a pic in the video if I, you know, can be fucked. But it's got these, like, Smash Bros. stickers on it. And it's not like a limited edition or anything, it's just a GameCube with Smash Bros. stickers on it. And I haven't been able to find this set of stickers, but like, it's a set of like, GameCube decorative... Like, specifically made to like, go on the GameCube. Uh, yeah. and I have no idea where they came from. Oh my god. Just take them off the GameCube. Well, I, well like, I don't wanna... Very carefully. I don't, I don't wanna like, take them off the GameCube and then realize later that they're super fucking rare and I could've sold them for... Three thousand dollars. I just haven't been able to I don't find. I think that's ever gonna happen. I just, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, what they are, where they came from, but they're, they're cool looking. They're, they're like, they're not bad looking stickers. You know, add a bit of flair to the GameCube. They look kind of yeah. tacky, but you know, it's a Nintendo console, so not really, not really getting a, a Nintendo console for style purposes. I've always liked the look of the GameCube. I think it's a really cool looking system. What would be a... I think it looks stupid, especially with the handle. <laughs> the dude, handle. dude, it makes it easy to you know, you take take the GameCube to your boy's house and play some Smash Melee, bro. Do you take do you take your GameCube to your boy's house and play some Smash Melee? Do you carry it by the handle instead of putting it in a backpack? <laughs> I mean, what what if the space in my backpack is? Taken up by the 50,000 GameCube by controllers 15 I own. 15 GameCube controllers and my copy of Smash Melee. Yeah. <laughs> so ridiculous. God. 
There was another Christmas I got an Xbox 360, which was pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. But, uh, I forgot what we are talking about, the Xbox. So, guess what the next Xbox is going to be called? The Xbox 2? No, Penguin. Oh. It's called Xbox. <laughs> I lost a one. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> It went from 360 to 1, now it's at 0. <laughs> I, love how, I love how Microsoft, with every iteration of the Xbox, is just making it more and more difficult to refer to the original Xbox from 2001. Like, I, I swear, their next console is going to be called the original Xbox. Their next console is going to be called the Xbo. <laughs> and, the cons- lose the and then the console after that is going to be called... The Xbox from 2001. No, the console no, after they're, they're the Xbox like, is going to no, be the X- XP. Eventually, eventually they're just going to remove... They're going to make it impossible to refer to the original Xbox, like, from 2001. Because, like, that's what they've been doing. Because, like, I'm people people used to call it the Xbox One. And then the Xbox One came out. And, people were, and now people have to call it the original Xbox. And it's like... I'm telling you, like, they're going to call the next Xbox after the Xbox, the Expo. And then they're going to call the next one after that the XB. And then they're going to call the next one the X. And then they're going to call the next one nothing. It just doesn't have a name. Yeah, it's just going to be blank. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to run out of letters to remove. <laughs> <laughs> and then they and then they start spelling it backwards. No, when they get to the when they get after the X, they're going to re-release the Xbox 360. The same so you can't refer to the Xbox or the Xbox 360 <laughs> without getting confused. <laughs> Microsoft trolling right now. And then after that, they're going to release the Nintendo Wii. I thought you meant the Wii U. I still no. want the next Nintendo console to be called the Switch U. No. No. Just because I'll get a laugh out of it. Penguin, we're not doing this again. We're doing this again. I'll get a laugh out of it. <clears throat> you wouldn't be entertained if the next honestly, Nintendo console honestly, was called the Nin- Switch Nin- Nintendo seems inept enough to do that. It, it, it seems uh, like something Nintendo would do. <laughs> yeah, I want them to do it because it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be funny if every time they name something, this, every time they put a U in something, name it fails on the market and then every time they don't put the u it succeeds <laughs> so it's just like every other console's bad It'd be pretty great i think the wii was the only instance of like a direct sequel to, to uh i'm still waiting on my game sphere like a direct sequel to a system that nintendo's done it's right? my game sphere coming out right am i am i my wrong game I, triangle am, penguin am i wrong no i think you're right wait no no, no. Is, the, they did the, the uh, NES and then the NES. Well, like those weren't the, the the only like similarity with that was the branding. Uh, like they weren't backwards compatible. Uh, I know. They, 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 like, the they didn't like. They didn't like. They didn't like share similar architecture. Like th- it was a s- sequel, I, I like a direct follow up in like brand. No, I'm talking about like a, an oh. actual successor to that specific console. Because like oh. the Wii U, I, don't know. I think the SNES, the Wii the U had the like NES. backwards compatibility. It had like. Functionality with the remote, with the Wiimotes and that, um, it was like the SNES and it the was NES. it like took the Wii and it iterated on it like the PlayStation and the Xbox do. I guess there was the DS and the 3DS. Yeah, the DSs were just fucking. I love the DS model. It's just like here's a DS, here's a slightly bigger DS, here's a slightly brighter DS. Okay, when here's was a slightly bigger version of the brighter DS. Okay, it's when... a 3D DS. Okay, when was when was the uh when was the Game Boy One released? The Game Boy? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, I'm go- I'm going this. <laughs> I got the sniffles. When was You mean the Game Boy or the Game Boy Color? The Game Boy One. What? Like the first Game Boy, the first model of the Game Boy. Yeah, the Game Boy Color. No, that's not the Game Boy Color. Is it not? No, it's the game. Oh, no. The, the game, game Boy. Boy is the... Yeah, the Game Boy oh, yeah. Color is the one that came after. Yeah, I just have issues because I always. Is, is the one with the hinge the Game Boy Color? Or is that the Game Boy? 
What was that called? Uh, the one with the hinge is the Game Boy Advance SP. Okay, thank you. That's why I don't remember these, because they have stupid names. Mm -hmm. Okay, 1989. It was released in 1989. Now, when was the Game Boy Advance SP released? When's the Game Man going to be released? For all <laughs> those men who want a game. What if I want to play Pokemon, but I want to feel manly? I need my Game Man. Just play Pokemon Uranium. On my game, man. Yep, on, on your game, man. <laughs> I'm a game man. I want right. to play games on a man. All right, the Game Boy Advance SP was released in 2003, so it took them from 1989 to 2003 to realize it would probably be a good idea to have a fucking screen on a Game Boy that you could actually see. <laughs> what do you mean they had that light you could install? I mean, you had to buy that separately. Uh, the um, like on the in the original model, there was no backlight. <laughs> it was like a book reader. It was like a book light to it, like folded. <laughs> it was so funny looking. I had one of those. I had one of those uh, yeah, those little you worm play, lights. You yeah, you couldn't play it. Yeah, I, I actually have. I only remember one game I even had for the Game Boy Color when I was like. A little, a little boy. If you want to play a game on the original Game Boy, you literally had to look at it perfectly and have enough lighting to play it. So like 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> you also couldn't like, you also couldn't like, look down at it because your head would give a shadow that would block you being able to see it. <laughs> yeah, you could. So yeah, you couldn't look down at it either. It was like yeah, like you I literally think, had to look at it perfectly. I think even the Game Gear had a backlight. My eyes got tired holding the my arms got tired holding the Game Boy up as a kid cuz I couldn't hold it down anymore cuz I couldn't be able to see it. Hmm. I right, hold up. It's like a 6-year-old with like my tired arms trying to beat Pokemon Blue. Uh there are like custom mods and stuff you can do to like put a backlight in the game. You know, you know you know what fucking hurts me? The Game Boy Advance is the most ergonomic Game Boy that was ever released. It's the it's the most like ergonomic handheld console I think just ever. Um, oh, no, I'm a big fan of the Game Boy. And it SP. doesn't you you can't even like look at it. I'm a big fan of the one with the hinge. That one's pretty nice. It fits in your pocket, nice. And eh, well, I mean, yeah, that that one fits in your pocket, but it's kind of it's kind of like more difficult to play like a. Yeah, but I like the hinge. Play on platformers and stuff. Actually, I kind of want a Game Boy SP. A Game Boy Advance SP. I own one. They're really good. Um, I don't have a the game. Only, the only difficulty is I don't have the charger for it, so I need to buy a charger. Actually, you know what would be better? Um, a, a, a DS a DS Lite. But, like, that doesn't have compatibility with the GameCube. Oh, God, Ike. Ike. Yeah? Okay, that's good. Yeah. I want to... You know what would be better? Yeah? That they didn't make the DS constantly bigger so you could fit in your pocket. Like, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. I mean, get new pockets, scrub. I mean, They're my pockets yet. were fine. I, just, I had to get, like, cargo shorts to carry my DS, my 3DS around. Because the thing's the size of a brick. Mm -hmm. Like, why? Why don't we just make it? That's all I'm asking. I mean... You can fit the Switch in your pocket. Like, have you seen those iPads that are, like, too goddamn big? Uh, I mean, yeah, but you're not supposed to be able to fit those in your pocket. That's not the point of an iPad. Yeah, but you're, and they're supposed to be portable, and they're not portable. I mean, you can, like, carry them around. They're about as portable as a laptop. Like, a small laptop. I, I wouldn't even call them. I don't know. I want something easily portable. Like, that's what was great about the SP, was it, you could throw it in your pocket and walk out and go anywhere with it. I'm, I'm so sure. Horrible. I'm sure there's like some Android-based emulator machine with the same form factor you can get. The thing was so portable, it was so great. How good the SP was was part of the reason why fucking Generation Three is like one of the best Pokemon games. It's just because the console's so good. <laughs> they put it on. They put on the goddamn SP, and the SP is fucking great. Okay, but like, so it makes okay, so Gen three great. Technically speaking, that would mean that Sword and Shield is the best Pokemon games. 
Like, mm. Because, like, you can... That, that's the best... That's, like, the objectively the best way to play Pokemon is on a television I, with a controller. With, like, I mean, XP and controller. fucking Gale of Darkness are the best Pokemon games. Fucking fight me on that one. I actually haven't played those, but... I They're fucking great. Honestly, I would probably agree with you. It's being Gale of Darkness are fucking just cause, like, okay, great games. Okay, double battles, just because of the way they work, are inherently more interesting and more strategic than traditional Pokemon battles. Yeah. They, and they, like, and going okay, going forward, they should have been the standard. Like when they when they put them in Generation Three, that should have been the standard way to play Pokemon. And fucking X, fucking Colosseum and Gale of Darkness are just they're just hype fucking games. Honestly, yeah. I mean, because they got from the cutscenes seen... and everything about them that make them hype, and they got the cool like darkness mechanic where you gotta like undarken your Pokemon. And I stuff like, like that. Cool. I like how technically the games look better than Sword and Shield. Yeah, and I like I like the main character too. He's nice. Feels like tougher and like. Oh yeah. It's more of like an adult Pokemon experience, but I like as much as adult as Pokemon can be, but. Honestly, I'm I'm surprised they haven't like tried to do a darker Pokemon story. Well, they they did I mean, actually they did actually they did, they did that with like a Gen Five. I'm talking about like more yeah, Gen Five main, was darker mainline Pokemon games. I love Gen Five. Everyone love loves Gen, Gen Five. 5 Gen Five fucking two is great. The second okay, one can released. like can you remind me again why everyone hated Gen Five when it was released? Because they didn't like the way the new Pokemon looked. Because one of them was an ice cream cone. Okay, <laughs> yeah, but like most of them are. Pretty fucking dope, dude. I also want to point out the I mean, ice cream cone isn't that bad. Yeah, the ice cream cone's pretty, pretty cute, dude. It's a pretty good design all overall. It's not the worst design. Like Yeah, like all things Magnum. considered, it's a pretty good design. Like Diglett's still in the game who's literally just a who's literally just a rectangle with a circle on top. Mm -hmm. And then Doug Trio is just three of them. Like mm -hmm. I don't think ice cream cone's gonna win worst Pokemon design anytime soon. Okay, yeah, so can we, okay, so can we talk about like all those little kids who are gonna get a switch light for Christmas and like the fact that they're gonna break eventually because of the Joy-Con drift? Because like once, because like can once, we talk about the fact? Can we also address the fact that the switch does not run well? I've never every time someone every time I watch a video of someone saying they wanting their switch like without it being plugged in a TV now. Me saying this, I do not own one. But every time I see a video on it, it seems like it runs like dog shit when you don't have it plugged into a TV. It actually runs better when you don't have it plugged into a TV. Oh, uh, but every time it seems like it runs bad. Uh, I like don't know. Like, video. okay, what videos are you watching of the Switch? Like with people plugging, unplugging, and then it's like lower graphics and everything. It looks like shit. I mean, it's running at 720p, but it's a handheld. You're not getting it for graphical fidelity. You're getting it for like. Yeah, port, 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 being, being able to play Zelda on the go, dude. Where's my 1920 by 1080 fucking handheld? Uh, like, well, you can, you can, okay, you can, than it. okay, you can get those. You just have to pay more. Like, the 3DS looks better than that. No, it, fuck, it literally doesn't. What are you on? What no, have you, better. what have you been smoking, Penguin? I'm on the fucking 3DS hype train. The 3DS hype train died in, like, 2016. Don't tell me that. I'm the, the fucking only person riding it right now. There is no 3DS hype train. I will always be on the 3DS hype train. Okay, PP head. The only... The, the 3DS, the successor to the Virtual Boy of trying to kill your eyesight. I... Okay, you can just, like, turn the slider down, Penguin. I know. I, I didn't know. I, I got a 3DS and I was like, I'm going to try the 3D on it. Because I just got it, and I was like, it's like a primary feature. I tried it for like 20 minutes, my eyes were fucking aching. I mean, yeah, but it's unobtrusive. You can just, like, not play it. I'm not arguing that, I'm just arguing that it just makes my eyes ache. I mean, like, there's not really any other way they could have done it. Do you want to play Pro Virtual Boy Mario Tennis? No, I don't want to play... When's fucking, when's fucking the Switch going to release Mario Tennis? Or Baseball? The Switch does have Mario Tennis. Does it have baseball? I don't know, but it has Mario... I forgot it had tennis. Probably, yeah, it has yeah. Mario Tennis Aces. It's got Waluigi it in it. Oh, yeah. It needs baseball. I don't... Did you ever play baseball, Mario Baseball, on the fucking GameCube? I played it on the Wii. Oh, my God. It was fucking great on the GameCube. 
you fucking that piranha plant just hitting those fucking home runs, fucking okay. beating, nailing them out of the park for you. Yeah, I've just remembered. Uh, great game. I had a GameCube uh, growing up. It's not the same GameCube I have now, but I had a GameCube and I had like a number. Of, I think I had like Pac-Man World Two. Um, oh, Pac-Man. S- uh, yeah, s- shit too. Smash Melee, and I had Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis on the GameCube was fucking bomb, dude. I loved Mario Tennis on the GameCube. Fucking, I'm telling you, Mario, the baseball loved, Mario game on the GameCube is baller. I love it's the great. I love the cutscenes. I think the cutscenes were the best part about Mario Tennis on the GameCube. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you right now, fucking play the baseball game on the GameCube. It is great. I mean, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll download it's great. it on. Great, fucking PD the piranha plant, fucking hitting them home runs for you. I I have, I have a feeling the game isn't as good as you're hyping it up to be. No, it's fucking great. It's 10 out of 10. Okay. It's one of the best games ever made. So can we talk about, like, the lost potential of, like, collectible Nintendo Switches? Not really. I mean, like, there's so much potential, right? Like, you can really... All, literally all they have to do is release them with different color variants. And that hasn't happened yet. Like there's Joy-Con, uh, like variants, but there's no like actual Switch variants. Like the Switch, no matter which one you buy, is a black tablet with a black dock. And like I want a pretty, uh, I want a pretty turquoise one. I want a yellow one. I want a red one. I want, a, you know, I want a blue one. Did they ever release a Pokemon one? Uh, they released they released a special edition for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Ugh. Trash. And then there was a Switch Lite released alongside Pokemon Sword and Shield. I want a Switch, but I'm waiting. I mean, if you I'm won, if you won, uh, I would recommend, like, if you're on a budget, just get a used Nintendo Switch. I mean, they're probably going to drop the price soon, right? No. Because they're still yeah, selling yeah. Penguin. You only drop the price of a console when the sales start to dwindle. But everyone wants a Switch because it's an amazing system. Man, Switch. switch okay, it's not that great. Okay, I think uh, you're you're you're, you're familiar with Yahtzee, right? Uh, yeah. Zero punctuation. I think he said it best when he said like Nintendo actually makes games consoles, and Sony and Microsoft are just focusing on making like lower end gaming PCs with restrictive operating systems, and like. I don't know. Like I agree with that because a pl- if you're trying to compete with PCs, you're always gonna lose, and you have to rely on exclusive. Nintendo actually makes like, like there's a reason to buy them, other than the exclusives. Uh, the Wii U had it. The, 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 there's always like, post N64. Uh, there's always been like a, there's always been like a, a gimmick, something exclusive to the console that's hard to emulate, on PC hardware. Like the, like the GameCube had the. Uh, like, a lot of games had connectivity with the Game Boy Advance. Um, the Wii had the motion controls. The Wii U had its stupid fucking tablet thing. The Switch is portable. There's always a, there's always a reason to buy a Nintendo product. I think Nintendo just sells consoles well because they have so many fucking goddamn exclusives that you're never going to get anywhere else. I mean, if you really want to, you can emulate them. Like, you, you can emulate all the Wii U games and everything before that. Yeah, but it's not the same. People want to play them. When they come out, I mean, you, I mean, games. like, I'm pretty sure there's a Switch emulator out already. Nintendo just makes really good games. Yeah, like that's another thing as well. Sony doesn't make good games. They give money to people who do make good games and say, make sure not to release this anywhere else. Yeah. And it's the same with Microsoft. I, th- I think does Microsoft make their own games or do they just outsource it? No, they outsource shit. Yeah, they have studios, but they literally just—they're just—they're not even barely a part of Microsoft. Yeah, I... <laughs> well, they—they they own Rare. I thought we were gonna talk about Christmas. I mean, video video games are a part of Christmas. Have you ever had a candy cane? I've had a candy cane. What's your opinion on candy canes? They're minty, and I like them. Are they trash? No, I just said I like them, Penguin. Okay. What's your opinion on Christmas trees? Are uh, you a fake man or a real man? I like real Christmas trees. Um, I like they, fake Christmas I trees. Like, I like real Christmas trees because they smell nice. I like real. I like fake ones because they're easy to pack up and put up. 
I mean, after it, Christmas. Well, where I live, you're allowed to have like you can just like. Uh, there's a lot of open. Yeah. There's a lot of open space, so you just take. You live in the ghetto. <laughs> uh, you just take your tree over to like your relatives, like your relative with the biggest house, and you put him in a massive fire and hear that crick crinkly crackle sound. Wow. You ever burned a Christmas tree? No. It it sounds like television static. Oh. It's burned amazing. other stuff. Uh, we're I'm at we're at thirty. I'm not gonna. I'm not we're gonna apply context to that. We're at thirty minute mark. Oh, we're at thirty are we minutes. Actually, are, okay. we actually, are we actually gonna do, gonna do an hour special, or are we gonna? I mean, we could do an hour special, or we could end it here. Whatever you want to do. It's Christmas. We should do it. Oh, no, I don't want to edit that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, thanks for watching the Nut Boys. Oh, we're gonna have to do my bus rant though. Burden the twerp. The next episode of yeah. the Burden the Twerp. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that next episode. Thank you for Wait, watching. Before thank we you go. For, thank you for tuning in. Before we go, here's a spoiler for my bus rant. Fuck the 82 bus in Houston, Texas. Okay, <laughs> now you can end the podcast. Alright, thank you all for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas. I uh, hope you all, if, you, if, uh, if you're a younger viewer, I hope you, I hope Santa brings you... Hope you get some good-ass games. Fucking Game Boy, yeah. If you're an older viewer, I hope your girlfriend put, fucking puts on that Mrs. Claus sexy outfit for you. Because that's the only Christmas present you ever want as a man. Uh, I, nice I don't hands. know. I don't know. I think I think I'd want as a man like fucking GameCube controllers. That's because you're gay and autistic. That's the end of the episode, guys. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bird and the Twerp. I am Eichel. This is my co-host Penguin, and we're doing a thing. Yeah, we're doing the Bird and the Twerp, Ike. D Bird and D Twerp. Well, I'm the bird. I can always replace you. Well, I mean, no, because I'm the only twerp. That's the thing. No, I'm pretty sure I can replace you. No, you... Okay, uh... Ever, the, well, the viewers like me more than you, so... I yeah. don't think that's true. Yeah, actually, it's it's true. I, I'm, I'm very I in touch with... I don't think our three viewers like you more. I'm very in touch with our audience. Um, I did a Twitter... I, I, did, I, did, a, I did a Twitter three poll. Three viewers like you more. I did a, I did a Twitter poll. You like, did a Twitter poll? Are yeah. we becoming those YouTubers? Uh, no one voted, but I, like... But like, someone, oh, someone. Three subscribers and tune in for your Twitter poll. Maybe they don't follow your Twitter. What's your Twitter? Uh, my Twitter is Ike Ike Space Shrafter. My tag is just Ike Shrafter. Mhm. Mm my tag, my I'm handle. Drinking a protein shake. Drinking a protein shake, Banguin. Yeah. It's my special recipe. Lamau. So what are we gonna talk about for uh? This episode, this episode of the bird and the twerp. Well, I promised them a rant about the Houston bus system. Yeah, do that then. Fucking rant about the Houston bus system. Okay, the Houston bus system sucks garbage. It sucks garbage. I learned something. I, I haven't been able to go to... We worked the day before Thanksgiving and the day before Christmas. Mm -hmm. I have been able to go to work on either of those two days. I had to call in because the bus didn't show up. You want to know why the bus didn't show up? Why didn't the bus show up? I want you to guess. Because the buses don't run the day before Thanksgiving. No, Christmas. because because I've learned this now. If if enough people at the bus at the Houston bus system call in for work, like call in and say they're not coming to work, the bus does don't run. Because they don't have enough people to run the buses. I mean, so yeah. literally, if enough people just call in, they don't run the buses. How can you run a, How can you run something like that? Could you imagine if we ran a company and everyone called in and we were just like, "Yes, we're not going to open the company today." No, no, no. no I'd yell at those people to get in or lose their jobs. I think it's ridiculous. And then the Houston bus system runs like eighteen eighty-five buses. I don't even know where the eighty-five bus goes, but there's like nine of them. Yeah. I'm waiting for my bus, and I wait like 15, 30 minutes for my bus. I go like way home unless I get. I'll get to that part of the rant later, but I wait like 15, 30 minutes for my bus. So I'm waiting, and then there's an 85 bus, and then I'm waiting some more. There's another 85 bus, and then I'm waiting some more, and guess what? There's two buses. Can you guess how many of those were 85 buses? How many, Penguin? They're both 85 buses. Both 85 buses. Yes. Me and you could make a better bus system, and you, we're idiots. You, you, want, you want to start? I mean, we could start after this podcast, but they're idiots. Like, they're idiots. We can make a better bus system, and we're idiots. 
but we're like smarter idiots than they are. So it's like ridiculous. And then like if I don't get to my park and ride bus within like the last bus runs at seven and then the schedule flips from it running every 30 minutes to it running every hour. So if I don't get to the one at seven, then I have to wait a whole hour for the one at eight. And then I have to wait a whole hour and guess how many 85 buses I see in that hour. How many? Like 25 of them. Mm -hmm. It's all 85 buses. Why don't you seem thrilled by this conversation? (laughs) I, don't I mean, care about my bus issues. It's not. I mean, my okay. I care about your bus my... issues. It's just. It's not the most enthralling subject. The Houston bus my system. Shitty, shitty bus. I mean, Why are the bus system so shitty? Probably because, like, how's, how's fucking, the bus system where you live? Because the, I mean, I don't. We don't have buses. There's no public transit okay, where I live. Go. There you go. Thank you. I just See? walk everywhere. There you go. Thank you, like. But yeah, the bus system in Houston is so bad. Why is it so bad? I mean, I guess... Just make it better. I guess it is important that your bus system isn't garbage, but like... It's super garbage. And then you want to know something else? So the so Houston has like... They have transit rails. Mm-hmm. And then they have like X. Then they have a bus system. But the transit rails are like... They're quicker and they're, and they're, and they're easier. But they don't verify if you pay for them or not. So all the homeless people live on the transit rails. Mm-hmm basically in houston so it's annoying as fuck because i'll just be riding the rail one day and then there'll be some stinky asshole sitting two seats in yeah, front of me he, at 4 a.m in the morning does he smell bad yeah he smells super bad and then there's people dealing drugs on the houston transit system well why don't you buy some drugs i mean shit no, that, sound, that sounds like the opposite I, of a problem to me penguin drugs on the houston, bu- in houston bus <laughs> I mean, that's it's sounds, the worst thing in the world that sounds like the opposite of a problem man you just get, i mean you it get is your a problem. get your fix i almost got assaulted on the train one day on the yeah, transit. That doesn't there. sound fun. Uh, go, go, explain, explain, elaborate. Explain your, do, tell your story. So I was like, oh, I'll just tell the transit driver t- that he's trying to steal from someone. The transit driver will kick him off the transit line, and then it'll be all fine because he probably didn't pay anyway. Because he's literally trying to steal a bag with like a Red Bull and a candy bar in it from mm-hmm. some dude. Yeah. And no, I told the bus driver, and, he, and the transit driver just threatens to call the police. Then they drive the other five stops I need. But before. While we're driving those other five stops on the transit rail and it's sliding across the rail, being all calm, this guy mm-hmm. keeps threatening to beat the shit out of me. And then he punches me in the leg. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you, kid. I'm going to knock you out. And then I have to keep telling this guy, if you knock me out, you're just going to be in more trouble with the, with the authorities. And he keeps being like, I'm going to knock you out, kid. And then I finally get to my stop and the transit driver kicks him off the bus, kicks him off the transit driver at my stop. And that's how I almost got assaulted on the bus. Another day, I was riding the bus, and there's some cracked head. There's some, like, crack head. But every time I look back, he moved a seat towards me. Like, yeah. I look back, and he was a seat closer. Mm-hmm. Then I look back, and he was a seat closer again. Then I look back, and he's another seat closer. I... <laughs> Shit, that sounds like it's something like, out of a horror movie. It's like a goddamn horror movie. So I move all the way to the back of the bus where I can watch him. And he just keeps moving seats the whole time. Every five seconds, he's in a different seat. Maybe he's got, like, ADHD. ADHD. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. No, he's on crack. Oh. City has a drug problem. I, I went. I had a. I ran. One of my buses goes through downtown Houston, so I walk a bit through downtown Houston at night. But I walked a bit through downtown Houston on like a Friday, and some lady was walking out of the convenience store, and some man asked her for money. There's so many homeless people in Houston begging for money. Yeah. But some lady walked. Some lady was like, "Hey," he asked this lady. He's like, "Hey, can I get some? Can I get some money?" And then she's like, "Look at me!" And she's like wearing this like outfit, and she's like, "Look at me! I just got out of fucking prison. You think I got any money?" Like she's like angry at this dude, like about to fight him. There's yeah. All these people screaming in downtown Houston. The Houston police don't do anything about it. It's shitty. The city is crap. That's penguins ran about Houston, Texas. Now mm-hmm. we can continue the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the. Bu- <laughs> it seems like you should just move, bro. I should just move. I'm looking. I'm thinking about moving. Like you I need to get, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I gotta get IT cert so I can get qualified, so I can do better, so I can do a better IT job, so I can live to, so I can afford to live somewhere else. No, nah, man, that's 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 broke. the formal way of moving. What you do, right? You just like, you you, t- you pick a direction and you run until you're not in Houston. Yeah, anymore. then I'm gonna be a homeless person on crack. <laughs> it's better. It's better. It's better than it's better. Than, some it's better... Woman, if I didn't ask him, jailbait woman, if she just got she got a dollar for me. Listen, all right, being homeless and on crack is better than being homeless and on crack in Houston. I mean, it probably is. Houston, Texas is a shitty city. 
But there you go. There's my thing about Houston, Texas. Yeah. Also, don't be writing in the comments. I know someone's going to do this. Don't be writing in the comments if we get an ever get an audience or anything like that telling me that Houston, Texas is a great city and there's nothing wrong with it. Walk downtown at after 8 o'clock at night and then tell me the city is okay because you're gonna, your opinion is going to shift wildly. This city is full of drug, drug addicts. Now we can continue. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a, that was a fun story. Thank you for sharing, Penguin. Yeah, no uh, problem. I'm here for you. And the entertainment shit. of our podcast, why I almost die on the transit rail. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't prepare any topics for this episode, so I'm just gonna... I didn't either, it's th okay. th There might be some, some ums and ahs. Uh, some oohs. Yeah. Some ooga, big ooh fan. Some ooga What's your boogas. favorite... What do you default to? Do you default to the um or the ooh? I think I default uh, to like. I think I default to. Uh... You default to the uh because you just defaulted to it right there. Yeah. I was I was demonstrating penguin. There we go. We figured it out. Yeah. You weren't demonstrating. I was demonstrating. I don't believe you. <laughs> We're... You don't know what to say. I stumped you with that question, and you're like, uh, like an idiot. Because we're idiots. <laughs> I'm gonna take another we should, my protein drink. We should just rename this podcast "The Idiot and the Idiot." I mean, we could. We could call this episode "The Idiot and the Idiot." Yeah. We could, could call this that. episode. We were supposed to have a guest, but he got really sick. Yeah, and that's why he's not. Just he's gonna be in next episode. Just kidding. Yeah. We're gonna kill him. Because he weighs the amount of like a small girl, and he's a grown ass man. So I wonder why he got sick as shit. Man's needs to get some meat on his bones. Man needs to bulk like he's actually trying to. I mean, some people just can't gain weight. Yeah, but you're gonna bulk and put the weight on. You're gonna find ways to get that weight on. How much do you weigh, Ike? Like 180. Oh, how tall are you? Around six? I don't know exactly. Six foot? Yeah. That's not bad. You thin or you like carry it? I. You can, like, Chum. I mean, I I'm unable. I am vehemently self-loathing, so I have no idea how to like uh, quantify that objectively. Okay, so you're probably okay. I hate the skinny people who think they're fat. I mean, I don't know. I also hate the fat people who talk about how hard it is to lose weight. I hate those two kinds of people. What if they? What What if both of those people have medical conditions? Well, then they both have medical conditions, and they can't get over it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're just like so unapologetically unempathetic. You got cancer? Well, guess what? Some other dude had cancer, but he had a positive attitude, and he beat that shit and fucking won. And then he, now he's some buff supermodel. So why don't you be that guy instead of some self-loathing asshole? I mean, there was also a guy who had cancer who. Uh, was cynical and reviewed video games for a living and hated traps. Yeah. That's Total Biscuit, by the way. Yeah. Who are you talking yeah, about? I'm talking about some dude who beat cancer and fucking is a supermodel right you're, now. You don't know his name? Victorial Secret Models. No, I don't. Ah. He doesn't need a name. My point is that if you're a miserable pile of shit, don't blame it on anything else. Your attitude isn't controlled by anything else except yourself. I'm a miserable pile of shit because I'm a miserable pile of shit. <laughs> Not because I'm going to blame it on something. This is a fucking Penguin Self-Help Podcast. It's what you need to listen to when you're bitching about it, something. <laughs> yeah. My job sucks. My life sucks. I have a, I have a fucking clinical depression. And guess what? I'm still not a grumpy piece of shit. Well, I am. But that's my yeah. own choice. Yeah, you, anyone who watches the podcast can attest to the fact that you're a grumpy piece of shit. <laughs> I am a grumpy piece of shit, but that's my own choice. Like, I'm not blaming it on anything. <laughs> gotta be your own. Gotta fucking take take fucking responsibility for that shit. Hey, yo, we gonna take this this opportunity to throw some shade on the Nut Boys podcast? No, we're not taking the opportunity to throw some shade on the Nut Boys podcast. Because the last time you threw shade on the Nut Boys podcast, it's the reason we're not on the Nut Boys podcast anymore. <laughs> You're the reason we got kicked off the No Boys podcast. I mean, what are we? What are they gonna do now? Kick, double kick us off? I mean, that is a good point. We could throw as much shit as we want. Yeah, fuck the No Boys podcast. Yeah, the, I, I hear the host is a has the body mass of a little girl. Yeah, 
I used to be the host from? of the Nut Boys podcast. Uh, I I heard it from some bird. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard the one girl doesn't speak, and all she does is eat strawberries. Ooh. Got it. Okay, let's continue on. We're gonna cut this out, right? No, we're not. This okay. is staying in. Uh, you you, you spec- uh, when we started this series, you specifically stated that you wanted none of the dial, none of the uh, audio cut. Yeah, but when I talk 100% shit about people, unedited. I know I'd like you to cut it out. Because then I know I'm talking shit about them. <laughs> gotta, Penguin, we gotta... We're standing by this? Okay, Gary, yeah. you're cuck. Continue, Ike. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta stay true to our roots. Okay, continue, can't Ike. sell you out. Anything else? What'd you get for Christmas? Fucking, I got a Mega SG. Okay. And I got a new computer. And by new computer, I mean I got a CPU, RAM, and motherboard. Okay. The audience is going to ask this in the comments, and I'm still wondering what the fuck a Mega SG is. Mega SG is an FPGA-based recreation of Sega Genesis hardware. Okay, I thought it was a Sega Mega Drive. It's the, it's the same thing, Penguin. Okay, thank you, Mike. It's a... F- okay. The only, See, difference, like... the only difference, I think, is that the Mega Drive uh, is PAL, but I think it was also called the Mega Drive in Japan, which was NTSC, so... Yeah, it's it's the same thing. Okay. So you got a Sega Mega Drive. Yeah. It was a it was way too expensive. I probably should have it's... just used an emulator. But didn't you get some PC parts too? Yeah, I that's that's what I said. Oh yeah. Yeah, I already, we already went over this. Yeah, now your computer runs and now you can record gameplay, right? Yeah, that's actually why I wanted to do the the series that we can Do you want to talk about it here or do you Want to I mean, not we talk, can about, talk it. about it here? Uh, we're we're... Still in the first episode. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be doing a gameplay commentary series because I thought that would be a fun idea. Gameplay commentary that we commentate after the fact. Yeah. So it's just gonna be me talking about how shit I guess at the video game. Mm-hmm. And I really like that method of of doing like gameplay commentaries because it's a it, it's really chill I find because like when you're doing a let's play real time you're like you're like it's stressful because you're struggling to play the game and you know also try to be interesting you know what we should do what what should we do we should we should do a punch out playthrough where i'm your coach and you're the boxer (laughs) um okay and i just talk you into things and we're gonna do this after the footage has been recorded yeah right only only thing is though you know how to beat any of the bosses in Punch Out? I, I, I know how to beat Glass Joe, but that's because I've only ever played oh, Glass Joe good. and then I stopped playing. I don't the want video you to look up a single fight in Punch Out because I'm going to explain them to you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to watch tape and explain a- to you how to beat the fights. After we've already recorded the footage. No, I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to explain to you before you fight the guy, and then we're going to look over the footage and see how you did. Mm hmm. So I'm going to give you a full de- description of watching tape from the guy, how to fight him. I'm going to be, li- literally be your trainer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, let's, this is a serious idea. That, 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 you know what? That's a serious idea. Um, it, it just sounds like backseat gaming. It, it just sounds like... like I'm doing... going to be your boxing coach. This you're going isn't... to You're gonna be my boxing coach. Yeah, and then we'll do it for Super Punch-Out. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, but we're going to do some gaming commentaries. I think the first one's Sonic. Yep, the first one is Sonic. Okay, so we're going to do that. I still got to play the game. Yeah, I haven't recorded the footage yet, but it um it's gonna, it's only going to take me, like, maybe an hour. <laughs> okay, so there you go. You can look forward to that content on the Nut Boys. Not the Nut Boys. I so see like, it as the Nut Boys YouTube channel, isn't it? Yes, it's the Nut Boys YouTube channel, but, you know... We're, yeah. we're not we're not on the main podcast, so you can also look forward to the main podcast being released by Gary Echo and Gazi. If they don't release it, well, we just called them out for it, so they better release it. Yeah, Bird and Twerp is a better podcast anyway. Yeah, it's a better podcast. You got any more topics to talk about? Uh, you know the one I got for Christmas. What'd you get for Christmas? You got socks and shirts. You got socks and shirts. Yo, nice. Are they comfy socks yeah. and shirts? Yeah, they're pretty nice. Nice. Yeah. Does it have a picture of a Mega SG on it? No, they're just regular ass black socks. Damn. Do you prefer yeah. Do you prefer black socks or white socks? I mean, I guess black socks because they don't get stained. 
I mean... Well, the stains are just harder to see, I guess. I mean, I prefer white socks because it's easier to hide cum. Oh. Yeah, but when your socks stand up straight in the morning, everyone will know. I mean, yeah, that's why you don't keep them in plain sight. You just kind of... <laughs> that's why you put your socks standing up straight in your gym locker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like it's malleable so you can like pose it draw a face on it like it's an action figure yeah you're staying straight up next to your shoes <laughs> god oh well, got anything else to add no. I don't know what time we're at uh we are at 18 minutes so we've got 10 minutes oh, left okay you want to talk I don't know what else to talk about we could talk about my diet yeah you can talk, talk about your diet Okay, so Penguin's been on a diet because he's fat. Nice. I weigh like 260. I'm trying to get down to like 200. Two, I'm 6'5". I'm a oh. big bird. But yeah, I'm trying to get down to 200. Wait, right, wait you're, you're, not, you're not big bird though, right? You're just a big bird. No, I'm just a big bird. I'm not yellow. Right, right. I got you. Yeah. I, got you. I, I was I was finna say like, yo, you, you're, you're big bird? I ain't no one. I'm the guy who played big bird die. Really? Did he? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, Big Bird. Someone from Sesame Street died. Big Bird's still on the show, but I don't know if they replaced the. Act. I'm not a big Sesame Street fan, so I wouldn't know. Okay. We'll we'll look into this and update it on the next podcast on whether. No, or not no, we won't. We'll, for, we'll forget. Died. Okay, we'll forget about this, but you guys can update us on whether or not someone from Sesame Street died. Yeah. And who I'm thinking of. Oh no, it was like the old man who died from Sesame Street. That's who died. The old man? Which... Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I... then and then they did an episode where they're like, yeah, he's not coming back. And they told the, all the puppets that. And then they were all sad. Yeah, Big Bird was the one was one of the ones who was consoling the uh, Elmo. Was it Elmo? Yeah. I don't know. I don't watch some of it, but yeah. Okay, there you go. I love it whenever I go on forums and there's like a like a, a thread about Sesame Street pops up, and then there's always that one guy who's like, well, occasionally there's that one guy who's like, Elmo ruined Sesame Street, and like, bruh, it's fucking Sesame Street, chill. Is there Sesame Street lore? I I mean, I think so. I mean, it's it's I know it's in the same cinematic universe as the Muppets. Did you ever notice that Grover acts more and more shitty the longer he's on Sesame Street? Uh, no. Oh. Because I haven't been watching Sesame Street. I haven't seen a full episode of Sesame Street probably since I was, like, yeah. six. But yeah, there you go. Grover living in his trash can. But yeah, I'm, I'm Wait, Grover? down to... Hold up, Grover? This is the one who lives in his trash can. Yeah, he's the one who lives in a trash can, right? That's, that's Oscar. Oh yeah, Oscar's the one who lives in the trash can. Oh, yeah, my God. Gro Grover is the one with the big nose. Oh yeah, Oscar's been getting more and more grouchy. I really like the Count. He's my best friend. Has there ever been an episode of Sesame Street where he literally sucks someone's blood I don't, out of their body? I don't think so, because I don't think they would show that to children. I wanted to see that episode of Sesame Street. I mean, I know you would, but you're a grown-ass adult. Not not six year old Jimmy who'd probably be I feel traumatized. Like six year old Jimmy would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we getting a vampire horror movie now. No, no, uh, actually, more realistically, like three year old Jimmy, three four year old Jimmy. He'd be like, yeah, vampire. What, horror what's what's now. what's the cutoff point for when you just we, when you stop watching Sesame Street? I don't know, like five. I don't. I, I remember five. watching. Uh, I, I learned how I learned how like my fours. Like, the number four was shaped from Sesame Street, and that's how I drew it in kindergarten. Uh, oh. and, but it's, they, that, it's, it's like a line, and then you put a triangle on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they didn't want to... But I wasn't, like, taught to draw it that way, so they made me stop, and I'm like, what the fuck does it matter? It's still a four. Wait, do you draw goalpost fours, or do you draw... I draw triangle fours. You draw flag fours? Okay. Yeah. I draw goalpost fours sometimes, and then triangle fours other times. I haven't drawn a goalpost four... Since uh, since like kindergarten when they taught me how and I'm like this is dumb it's easier to do the triangle force. Yeah. And I got yelled at I'm like bro what's your problem? Yeah. This has been Ike and Penguin with numbers. Today's number was the number four. 
This episode, okay, no. this episode of the Burden that's where it brought to you by the the number four. I wish we were sponsored by the number four. He's probably got fat money, <laughs> all them royalties. I love it whenever you uh. I I love those like those memes where it's like uh pictures like a uh, screenshots from Sesame Street and then it's a caption that's like, Ernie prepares to commit a hate crime. I love that. I love those. Okay, you want to hear about penguins diet now? Yeah, let's hear about penguins diet. Okay, we'll rate and see if you'll eat this. Okay, so Penguin wakes up at 4 a.m. because he's got to go to work. Right. He has a protein shake. Right. With one scoop of vegan protein and two scoops of PB2. Would you eat that? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Penguin goes to work. He sits down. He does his work. His job's bullshit. I didn't say that, but it is. <laughs> Why don't, you, why don't you tell us exactly where you work and I'll see your full name so you get, so you no, get fucking you. fired. I don't know. I'm not doing that. No, thank you. Okay. Penguin goes to work. And he's like, and he's like, oh, this is cool. And then he gets then he gets the lunch. Lunch is a big salad with brown chicken in it. I hold his bro. All right, I'm and back. The, uh, we were the at Darth Maul. We were at, I think, 24 minutes when I left, and we're at 29 now, so. Okay. Um, what were we talking about? My diet. Diet. Okay, go on. Yeah, I asked you if you would eat my salad. I would definitely eat that salad. Okay, thank you, Lee. Okay, now we go through the day again. We're going through the day, I get off work, we we'll lift some big weights, I go, mm -hmm. and I have another protein shake. Yeah. Okay, and I go home and eat some dinner. What's the dinner? Uh, dinner's usually random. It's a random it's dinner. Really, it's not really specified. Sometimes I'll have like chicken patties, mm -hmm. like frozen chicken patties. Usually dinner's just like a thousand calories of something. And also, if I if I'm in the mood, I'll have some popcorn. Mm. It's like smart pop, like two hundred. Popcorn seems like a very not diet thing to eat. Well, it's only two hundred and forty calories. I. Like. I mean, it just it it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like it's super good for you. It's only two hundred and forty calories. I, I mean, I, I I guess. It's low calorie dense. Food. Also, popcorn isn't something I can eat every day. Popcorn's something I can eat like. Well, I don't eat it every day. I once every like, couple like months. Having it. That's the good thing. About the, I try to stay between two thousand and twenty five hundred calories. You think you can handle this diet, Ike? I can. I most certainly can. Okay. For diet advice and coaching, go to Big Bur go to BigBuffBirds.com. Don't actually do that. It's not. It's not a real URL. It doesn't exist. It's not a real URL. But don't steal my URL. <laughs> I'm gonna get it soon. Orig original URL. Do not steal. Yeah. Do not steal. Thank you. What's your diet look like, Ike? Uh, fucking whatever I can find in the pantry and cook. Okay. Sometimes it's hamburger helper. Sometimes I survive off of ramen for a week. Okay. That doesn't sound too healthy. What do you eat for like at school? Do you uh, pack your lunches? No, I don't pack my lunches. Penguin. Uh, I usually have a wrap and I dip it in barbecue sauce. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Is it it's, like a turkey wrap. It's a. Uh, it's a bacon, chicken, bacon, and ranch wrap. Mm, that sounds pretty good. You gotta get that little fat ranch. Yeah, my friends call me gross for getting it every day, but like it, I don't fucking. All the other lines are way too long. Oh. The line to get like a wrap is pretty short. Should you just get a wrap every day? Mm-hmm. I wish my school had wraps. <laughs> I'm school, you just had to eat the shitty, like, reheated food that I cooked. <laughs> high school sucks. I don't go back to high school. Went to high school, it sucked. Went to college, it sucked. Went to the military, it sucked. High school's shitty, work. I wouldn't recommend it. Went to work in a warehouse, it sucks. Yeah. Definitely would not recommend. Did you get your learner's permit? No, I didn't. Ike, how are you going to drive? I'm going to 
move to a place with public transit, and I won't need one. I got good. Oh, so you can get insulted by the homeless people. Yeah. Look, we brought it around. No, I'll, mo I'll move to a place with good home with a good public transit. Oh. That's what I was gonna say. Good homeless people. I mean, I don't know what place has good homeless people. Uh, North Korea, I guess. Are you allowed to be homeless in North Korea? It's it's against the rules to be homeless in North Korea. I don't know. It's, it's against the rules to be a lot of things in North Korea. <sighs> You know, there's like a a, a preset list of haircuts you're allowed to have in North Korea. There's a preset list. Sorry about my phone, by the yeah, way. Yeah, and they're all ugly. Maybe it's because Kim Jong Un doesn't want anyone to have cooler hair than him. <laughs> 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 he wants to have the coolest haircut in North Korea. <laughs> Wait, do you go to the barber and he holds up like a list and he's like, do you want the number one, the number two, and the number three, and the number four? <laughs> and they're like, I want somewhere in the middle of the number three and number four. And then a cop just comes in and drags you away. What if the haircuts weren't free and you just got you got arrested because you couldn't afford a haircut? Honestly, are, are the haircuts free? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if it's a free haircut, I wouldn't mind Kim Jong Un picking my hairstyle. I, I would most certainly mind if Kim Jong Un picked my hairstyle. If he's paying for it. I mean, he's also got shit taste in hairstyles. Yeah, but he's paying for it. Okay, if someone pays for, you know, your fucking the uh, cholera, I still don't want the cholera. Yeah, but you're comparing cholera to your haircut. They're not the same thing, like. I'm I'm trying to make a point. Yeah, but you're making a poor point. I can live with my hair being terrible. I can't live with cholera. Uh, well, I mean, like, to... okay, w my thing is, why would you, like, get a bad haircut when you can just keep your current one? I mean, I guess that's a good point. Do you think Kim Jong-un just makes funny laws just for the hell of it? I think he most certainly does. <laughs> or he just does it to see how the, the Americans will react? <laughs> it's like, let's see what the Americans have to say about let's, this let, one. Let's, let's see what the fat, round eye pieces of shit think about this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he does that. He's just like, let's see what they have to say about this one. <laughs> that's, that's, how I'm, that's how I imagine Kim Jong-un laughs. Oh, I imagine him like Winnie the Pooh, from the same voice. No, no, that 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 that's uh, that's Xi Jinping. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. I think they both look like Winnie the Pooh. You know, a lot of chubby Asian people look like Winnie the Pooh. Yo, yeah, well, yeah, but <laughs> Winnie the Pooh's only banned in China. Oh. I mean, Winnie the Pooh is banned in North Korea, but everything not made in North Korea is banned in North Korea, so I, I don't think it counts. Man. Does that mean if you're like half born in like North Korea, half born in South Korea, your your lower half's banned? I mean, you're not allowed in North Korea. I don't think you're like allowed to reside in North Korea unless you were born there. But I think so. I think South Koreans can move there if they want. But like, I heard crazy stories of like people who join like the South Korean military, then they get like pulled across the border by North Korean soldiers. Yeah. Uh. Don't. Don't join the South Korean military. I heard you're like forced to though. Like it's like non optional. I have I haven't heard anything about that. Like South Korea just makes you join the military. I mean America does that sometimes. Yeah, but it's like highly illegal and you'd win a case if they actually made you do it. I mean yeah, but like that's what people always forget. People are always like, America has the whole draft system. I'm like, yeah, but if America ever tries the draft again, literally, you, you could win that court case in like three seconds. The Supreme Court has even agreed, like, yeah, if they ever try that, you're gonna win that you're gonna win that case in like four seconds. <laughs> They're like, yeah, just don't worry, you're gonna win it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make sure you win it. Yes, it's fine, bro. I got you covered. Yeah, they're like, we got you. We'll let them keep the law because it's too annoying to change without them actually using it. But if they ever try to use it, we got you covered. It's like, thanks, man. We got your back. I mean, they put the president in a page so they can do anything. It's like giving your child a gun for for his birthday and then saying he can't like use it. 
Would you, you eat the you peach? can't shoot at anything. Would you eat the peach that Donald Trump is inside? Uh, no. I don't think Donald Trump tastes very good. I don't think I, don't th I think his uh, flavor would clash with the peach. Oh. You don't think fake tanner and an angry man tastes good? Does does ta does a uh, good old Donald like fake tan or does he just look like that? I think it's fake tan. I don't know. I don't mind the man. He's not doing anything that bad. People acting like he's in in the world. I mean, I think he's just fun to laugh at. I don't like vehemently hate him as much as other people do. Let's not talk about politics though, because that that's really alienating I'm not to like ninety percent. I'm, I'm talking about the man, not the politician. Right, right. Uh, but like you're talking about, we are talking about him as a president. Oh. I was just talking about how they put him in a peach. Ah, uh, yes, I see. And then, oh. uh, and then Congress is gonna take him out of the peach. No, the Congress is the one who put him into peach. I the Senate's gonna take him out of the peach. Ah, the Senate. I see. Yeah, that's how the politics work. Does Palpatine yeah. run the Senate? <laughs> I wish he did. It'd be more <laughs> interesting. <laughs> he's just standing over the Senate, and he's like, "Do it." <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I, I, I want to see like Palpatine and, and an official uh, like <laughs> meeting, all dressed, yeah, he... all like dressed up in a suit. I want to see him dressed up in the robe, being like, "Do it." <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Do you think? Do you think that's where? God, who was it? The one guy. Who's like, just do it? You think that's where they got the expression from Palpatine? Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, you think Shia LaBeouf got it from Palpatine? No, I don't. I don't think Shia LaBeouf got it from Palpatine. Palpatine's like the most encouraging man in the world. He, also, he just lets you do things. Uh, you know, that, that, that meme was spawned from like a 30 minute video of Shia just like reading things people sent to him. Yeah. It's not even original. I love Shia Wolf. I used to like in, in like the sixth grade. I used to shout, "Just do it!" in locker rooms. Everyone hated me. I mean, it's me. on the, it's on the knock. It's on the Nike thing. Yeah. That is there. Do, do, did 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 they capitalize on that meme at all during, during the time it I, was thing? I have no idea. If they didn't, that, what the fuck were they doing? They had they had I'm a perfect, they had a perfect opportunity. I don't know. We're talking about the same people who designed a shoe and then said they weren't going to release it because it had Betty Ross on it. Uh, just, yeah, re just, thing. just to release the shoe anyway? No, they were like, it oppresses black people because it's, it's got Betsy Ross's flag on it. So they didn't release the shoe. Is that... Is, 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 is there some connotation to the Betsy Ross flag that I'm not, like... No, it's just a flag. Someone in the edge. Someone in the comments. Uh, please don't. Please don't educate me. I really. I really don't give a shit. Someone in the comments is gonna be like, "You guys are racist. Donald Trump's bad. You guys are <laughs> promoting the wrong shit on the burden and the twerp. So your free <laughs> subscribers are like, I don't care what I promote. You're stupid enough to take my opinions on everything. You deserve to be misled. Honestly, like you're a dumbass. Like I'm. I'm. I'm 15. Don't. Don't trust anything I have to say. Like, if you fall, and I'm 23, and I haven't achieved anything in life, like, if you fall anything either of us say, you're an idiot. You're an idiot, or you have poor judgment, which... We're here for entertainment, not for freaking political opinions, or opinions on a flag. We, we say yes, we're giving our political opinions. Yeah, but I never told you to listen to them. <laughs> you can turn the fucking podcast off. I mean, you can turn the oh, podcast off. I would like you to mute the podcast, though, because I think it looks better if you view the whole video on YouTube, but <laughs> yeah. you can turn the podcast off. But I would like you to finish viewing the whole podcast and then turn it off, if you could. Thanks, guys. Or just, like, play it in the background while it's muted or something, while you're doing something yeah, just, else. Yeah, just let, it, just let it play out in the background. We got, like, 10 seconds left. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, do, you want, do, you want end, do you want to end it there? I mean, we can end it there. I'm Fuck it, I'm ending it there. Okay. Anyway, that was the Nut Boys podcast. Check out Ike Shrafter YouTube channel. I do things on there once in a blue moon. Uh, yeah. 
Same as the maybe same penguin will release a video one of these days. That's swearing penguin. Are you gonna, you gonna do bird pinions? Maybe. Right. Bye.